yeah. I don't believe in destiny. I just do what's best for me. Don't listen to my enemies. They're just full of jealousy. Yeah, this legacy. You gon' see what's left of me. You gon' see success in me. You ain't seen the rest. I just wanna be the best at what I know. Better than the rest, just watch me grow. Put me to the test and watch me go. This is my quest, I'ma make it known. They call me obsessive, oh I know. Call me selective with my notes. Call me aggressive with my flow. Call me offensive, even though. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, life's tough. Try to get by, life's rough. Try to do it right, it's not enough. Even though you try, you still mess up. But I'm still gonna fight for what I love. Still gonna die for what I love. Still gonna try, I won't give up. Still gonna fight until I want it. Good morning, Chief. Ah, good morning, to sir. So, because I see you decide to come uh, on our good company. So, uh, from the beginning, what you can tell me about your experience, previous experience, the last years, not from the beginning of your career. Only the last year I'm interesting about, because I see you working some. Uh, in the last year. Uh, Mostly, yes, where you work, which company, which area, and uh, the what last, kind of... Uh, last year, Pops, my company is operation in uh, Angola, and it is West African. It is, it is anchor handling pack, but uh, the operation for towing the pipeline barge, so it's not engaged for anchor handling, but uh, for towing operation. Then the, the previous... The previous one, it's uh, multi-purpose supply vessel, and uh, area operation is uh, in Papua New Guinea. We are serving for pipeline barge also uh, for running supply. Then uh, the other one, uh, fast cruise supply, fast cruise boat area operation in the uh, Iranian sea service area. So I was in the uh, Persian Gulf also, but. Uh, Working for uh, Iranian sea service areas. Ah, you work in South Park or where in the? Uh, this year, uh, Iranian, Iranian. South Park all you feel is Iran. In uh, South Park, uh, so you was there in uh, Kish Island and whatever, huh? Ah, that's right. Kish Island, South Park. Okay, Chief. So, uh, uh, let's just say to to come back to the the vessel. So, what? Uh, can you tell me the class certificates of the vessel? The, the class certificate is uh, for the last one. Yes. Uh, Rani all, all the all of them belong of the class. You know one? Uh, Rani Hilke ABS. ABS. Class certificate ABS. What's this class, class certificate? Next one. You don't get my point. So uh, forget about your experience. Okay, I uh, I saw the vessels. Uh, you tell me about some uh, your last vessels. Now we'll come back to the documents of the vessels. Can you tell me uh, which ones are the class certificate of the vessels? First class certificate. First is a class certificate. Which are uh, which are the other class certificates? Which are belong of the class? The class is ABS. Yes, it's a class ABS. But what are the which one are the documents of the certificate of the vessel? Vessel certificates which are endorsed periodically by the ABS, okay. It's a uh, Hull and Machinery Certificate, the International Tonnage Certificate, and... Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, register certificate also. Um, register is wrong. Register is belong of the flag. Hull and Machinery, so not Hull and machinery Certificate and uh, International okay. Certificate. And... Uh, International so. Oil Pollution Preventing Certificate, IOPP. Correct. Okay. Um, yes. It's uh, segment. Sewage pollution? Yes. No. Sewage, sewage. Sewage treatment certificate. Air pollution, no. Air pollution, no. no not a we come back to load line certificate. Is the class certificate or not? Um, it is, no? No, 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 no. Load line. No. Load line certificate, it is a class certificate. It's endorsed by the class. No? Okay, sorry. Easy. Okay, so uh, there are another. Uh, safety construction, did you hear about this? Safety construction no? certificate is a uh, class certificate, sir. Yes. Radio, no? It is a class, no? Safety radio, no? 
certificate this is a class certificate also no okay let's just see some you know some you have to learn uh, what uh, tell me you work on the supply vessel and this will be your job here you are alongside with the vessel and the uh, what you do, all the steps you do for loading cargo for the rig. You work with rig or with the platforms, no? You carry cargo on the deck, no? Uh, what you do as chief officer? Uh, you will be chief officer, uh, you will be in charge, no? Yes, uh, last, uh, yes. when I was in like, so, uh, we are carrying uh, fuel oil and uh, fresh water for the yes. home. For the, okay. And also on the cargo, such as uh, food storage, uh, food container and uh, cylinder rack like that and so some IMDG for the uh, cargo. So uh, I, as a chief officer I should uh, carry out the storage planning first before we are setting I should run the storage planning due within the cargo uh, inside of the manifest. Then uh, when I get alongside with the platform uh, just uh, asking uh, how many that, that they are required for the for the for the cargo, if uh, fuel oil, fresh water, or or such as uh, barite, bentonite, like that. Um, uh, we should follow the, the the as a as a manifest, and they they will give they will giving information for the which platform first. Uh, that we will be get uh, discharging for the cargo, such as like that. Then okay, uh, okay. Let's just say that is okay. What you'll do before leave the port? Uh, I should run the, I should run the cargo storage planning, and also uh, if the document hasn't uh, like a sailing instruction from the chapter. You have cargo on the deck. The vessel is already loaded. With if, cargo on deck before departure, what you do? Uh, we should check the uh, signing instruction first from the authority. If they, if the charterer or uh, the authority has been, or the agent has been giving the document, uh, complete document, okay, for the ships, we can go uh, uh, sailing. Or uh, if you have cargo on deck, I ask you again. You have cargo on deck before departure, before uh, leave the port. What you should do? You have should, cargo on deck. I should check, sir. With, uh, with the due within the cargo manifest, I should check if it has been completed and if, check, yes, and if have have been uh, uh, due within the storage planning, I I I run. Then inform the captain that we are ready to sail in, as well the document has been completed. What about lashing? Lashing. If on deck, uh, with cargo on deck, you always lashing. You yes. are not allowed to depart there without lashing, correct? Yes, yes. Special so, lashing for so the lashing. Okay. Okay. So let's to to go about. Uh, okay, I'm a little bit clear about uh, operation. Don't forget about the lashing, no? When you departure from the port. Yes, so. Uh, and. After you load in the vessel, or previous you loaded, what you do? What you do about the stability? Uh, the chief officer on the uh, GM calculation as well the stability booklet. So when we are when the chief officer joining, he should check inside of the SMS manual and also check with the previous chief officer how they how he. he, he he ran the GM calculation and also do with the stability book. Like that, sir. Because inside of the stability okay. book. Yes. Uh, now we'll come, uh, we'll come to the stability. A uh, few questions about it. Uh, what is a uh, meta center? Meta center is uh, the point axis for the the rolling uh, the center. So, Meta center. Meta center is the the point axis of the rolling period of the ships. Happens. Yes, it's correct. It's a center of rotation of rolling. Yes. Or whatever. Yes. It's a center of circle for uh, 
for uh, the angle not more than five degrees now then it's become a curve yes. okay so uh, what you can tell me about the effect of the free liquids surfaces excuse me sir for effect of the free liquid surface free surface effects uh, it, it it could be influenced to the stability of the chips uh, due to virtual loss of gm so if if the the face of loading or the face of loading liquid cargo or the vessel have a tank which not full condition it will be make the free surface effect so uh -huh. okay. we, can, we can we can calculate it uh, or we can check inside of the hydrostatic table okay basically increase or decrease uh, stability Excuse me, uh, can you come again? This effect of the liquid, the surface, free surface, increase or decrease the stability? Decrease, decrease, decrease stability because it will loss of the Decrease the stability. Okay, then. Okay, so let's talk now to uh, what you can tell me about the, what is under keel clearance? Under keel clearance is a distance between the seabed to uh, the keel to the ship keel. Okay, to the to the deeper point of the vessel can be the keel, can be the propellers. Some vessel, the crew boats, the propeller propellers are lower than keel. No. Yes. Okay. The the thing is, how you calculate this? Can you explain me in a few words? Um, we can calculate it from the uh, chart datum. Uh, it is uh, deep, deep inside of the chart, and then also ships drought. We can uh, yes chart datum minus ships drought, and then also we can uh, 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 minus from the squat. Uh, yes, yes, from squat also we can minus from squat. So chart datum. What about okay? You have the the the, the datum, the the lowest uh, tide noise in the datum. What about the tide? Uh, I should read out the tide table also to calculate it all. So, uh, yes. chart datum minus uh, we we see the the correct tide and also uh, our ships drop and also squat squat effect. It should be it should be accounting okay. for the squat effect to this uh, correct under the clearance. Yes, okay, basically that is, no, the datum plus the tide, no, minus the draft, okay, you can include the squat for the shallow water, it's good to include. Yes, that's right. Anyhow, okay, so, um, you are officer on watch. Yes. And uh, suddenly the visibility become poor, what action you take? I uh, shoot uh, around the radar. Switch on the uh, ship's light and also keep sharp lookout. And also uh, uh, hoist the whistle when, when the vessel. Uh, Which I, signal you gave? It's one sort vessel of vessel underway. Underway, one, one long blast. One long blast. One long blast. Yeah. Okay, don't forget first you call the master, okay? Uh -huh. Always in the. Street. The time the master came on bridge, you take all the actions, as you said, okay. Uh, I have another one question. You will be safety officer on the vessel. So uh, what you can tell me about uh, risk assessment? You will be in charge to do this, no? Uh, when I was joining, the risk assessment is uh, yes. uh, assessed by master chief officer, chief officer only uh, help, but uh, as well I know. You are you are chief officer. Okay. Before start any activity on board, what you do I from the safety side? I should run the toolbox meetings first. Then uh, okay. uh, with all the okay, crew, that is with, with all the crew, uh, which included with the job, then uh, they should know uh, the task and duty when uh, when doing the job as safely as can. And then also the uh, GHA. Job hazard analysis should be run. Yes, job safety analysis. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Then, 
Tell me what about job safety analysis? On the toolbox meeting, okay, you describe the activity, whatever they have to do in the, in the, the task and everywhere. But what about the job safety analysis? Job hazard analysis. This is your job of, yes, uh, job safety analysis. For the job, for GSA, the chief officer, uh, chief officer uh, should be known what type of uh, uh, job which will be going to. Like, uh, for example, lifting cargo, what what hazard what hazard could be happen what action and uh, uh, something like that so action uh, hazard be taken and what task and uh, job will be doing okay chief that is correct you'll uh, identify the hazard and the risks no yes and that is not big deal the risk assessment is a procedure once you identify the hazard and the risk you will see we're looking for minimize and reduce the risks no that is a risk assessment so it's not big chinese language no okay that is uh no. so uh okay chief from my side uh, you have the green light to come as you know uh, you'll come here you'll uh, be on a couple of weeks familiarization I told your agent you are have green line anytime you are welcome okay uh -huh. okay so thank you for your time uh, have a nice day have a nice day also Hi, good morning, Chief. Yes, good morning, Captain. Nice to meet you. We will try to talk a little bit Hi. for these uh, formalities that uh, it's come. So, uh, from the beginning, I need to, from you to know a little bit, uh, to tell me something practically about your previous experience on the offshore business. Uh, yes, sir. I experienced my on the view because this is a survey vessel, you know, and uh, we are trading area at this uh, West Africa. This last vessel. Okay, the only thing is that uh, you know the expectation here are are highest. And especially for the important position like the chief mate and the master. Uh, so, uh, tell me please uh, some sentence regarding the, the general activity as you made on the supplier and utility. On the last supply utility and this pool supply, so we are it's only the order from the source to the platform. So, only the platform. So. So supply the equipment and something, and the pipe, and the uh, box and inside, and the supply to the platforms and the uh, area platforms. Only the platform, never rigs. So, so uh, normally as I understood, when you call the platform, that means you are come alongside, yeah, to the yes. boat landing or where? Yeah. yeah. To the boat landing, yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, which kind of material you are carrying? You told me about pipes. Only pipes or what else? Uh, a pipe and then sometimes it's like the cement, you know, so for something. And there's some uh, equipment electrical for this, uh, the crew on the platform. So. And any any other All so right. too much. Uh, uh, okay, tell me please uh, about the life-saving equipment that you are carrying generally on your boat. Uh -huh. And in the last test, uh, my uh, life-saving plant, I have uh, two, uh, two life boats. Two life boats and port and starboard, so totally uh, four equipment, uh, four pieces, and then uh, I have one uh, main MOB, MOB boats. And then we are, must be have the entrepreneurs to this M M U B MOB. And the sharks, and the epurps, anything. And on bridge, we must be have the keep the life jackets for the duty officer and the crew. Also in the engine rooms, and totally we are must be have a life jacket for all the crew. So. All right. And for the firefighting equipment, what you have? Ah uh, yes, uh, I have a fixed equipment. Perfecting is the CO two. And then uh, portable, uh, portable uh, perfecting. I'm only using the chemical, dry chemical. 
but you don't have any any equipment for the firefighting uh, like for example fire monitors on this one using the water ah uh, yes this is uh, only the smoke detector not not using uh, i'm uh, last my vessel not at the fixed uh, spray i'm only the smoke detector Okay, smoke detector is smoke detector. Yeah. But uh, the yeah. the spraying system you don't have on yes, the vessel, no? Yes, I have, but I know this. All right. Okay, tell me please something about the uh, ISM and ISPS. What yeah. does it mean and... Uh... This is ISM code, this, this is International Safety Management Code. This is a, a code is a standard operational for the company and it's the uh, ship operator for to keep the safety management and for, for make sure the safe, uh, safe operation for the human life and this in the company property and the environment also all right and uh, for example regarding the um, isps uh, yeah, for ISPS is International Ship for Security. This is a special report security ship. So. And then inside the ISPS code, we have the, for Marine, we have the three level level one, level two, and level three. And level one is, is normal conditions, level two is the small hikes condition where we are, we are can detect a hype, the indicating for security. Security, so we must be keep the more height, and we must be put the one person for the, uh, for the, the, uh, I, I mean is, for what's the gangway or the another place we are, we are, we are can use. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. We are, <coughs> we are predictions is about the ship security plans, and then the. The security level three is this is, is very very uh, strict security uh, on board. So nobody allow from the source, nobody allow come uh, to the assault from the above. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, uh, being the chief mate on board of the vessel, you are in charge with the cargo operation. Yeah. Uh, Yes. So uh, you are loading material, sometimes, as you said, pipes or containers or all these things. Yes. Uh, to make this one properly, yeah, you have to take care about uh, to don't over overload the vessel. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you have to know actually. You have to know. Uh, what is the TPC of the vessel? Uh, TPC yeah. Of the vessel, yeah. TPC is this uh, ton per centimeter. This means is uh, how many white cargo we are need for the loading on the, the loading on the decks, or we can change the one one centimeter of the draft. So. All right. So, uh, in case that you have, for example, free surface the liquids on the tank. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, this will uh, uh, generally the free surface of liquid is giving you one effect on the stability. Yeah. Yes. yes. So actually, uh, this free surface, what is modifying on the on the vessel stability? How we call the? Yeah, for this free surface, uh, I think we are cannot uh, totally uh, remove the the liquid of this free to to avoid the free surface. We must keep the sometime like a few or like the fresh water for a little bit of the ballast tank for we keep the stability. But this is we are not maintaining this very dangerous for stability. So, so it's, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's yeah. possible. Is we are what, how we call how we call on the stability that uh, this modification of heights due the free surface of liquids. Uh, if possible, we can fill the, the tank or the empty the tanks. I, I'm not asking you about this one. I say this free surface, the liquids, the movements of the liquids on the tanks mm -hmm. due the free surface, yeah. it's modifying something. How, how we, we call this? You remember? Uh, the, the, if you remember from the stability, 
we have the GM. What is the GM actually? Yes. Yeah. This uh, you mean this the GM? GM. This is a uh, distance from the metacentric height and the gravity height. So we must be the okay. Okay. Yeah. That's all right. So the free surface of liquids movement of the free surface of liquids is conducting to modifying of the GM. Yes. yes. Coming a very small GM, it means that the vessel became unstable and is uh, dangerous. Yes. yes, yes. Uh, uh, okay. Do you remember what is the dangerous situation of the liquids on the tank? How many percentage of the liquids on the tank made the stability to, to be dangerous. Many questions. So, uh, hello? Yes, hello? Yeah. Yeah. For the, if there's more than the, uh, for uh, free surface uh, effects. Uh, I am sorry, sir. I forget about the, how many must be kept the free surface yeah. in the yeah. okay. <laughs> Which kind of vessel is this one? Can you see? Ah, uh, fight is the this A. This this man is the have the dipping on on the underwater. It, underwater, so a diving vessel. Yes, yeah. okay, sir. This one. Ha! This is a vessel. Is uh, Special is restricted manoeuvres from the bow, so I I can looking his from the bow. So this is special man is the restricted manoeuvres. Okay, why why this vessel has two red lights in one side and two? Ah, this is still dredging, sir. So so we are possible. Okay. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. this is a vessel. This main vessel is the constructed by his drop, so I can. S uh, this vessel is con. Uh, this vessel is. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, this is special is. Uh, also, con uh, uh, restricted manoeuvres, and I can show, show him uh, from the starboard side. Why she is restricted in ability? Ah. Which kind of vessel show you being restricted? Uh, this one, two white. This uh, he's still. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I I'm forget for this this uh, this sample. I might be sir. Uh, Normally, is the towing vessel, ah, you know. Ah, towing vessel. Yeah, do a hundred more. Yeah. All right. Okay, chief. Uh, from my side, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, we will uh, pass. Um, our uh, remarks to the crewing and they will contact you, your agency, in order to arrange the job offer and uh, this one. But uh, please take one advice. Uh, you need a little bit more to, to refresh your things regarding the, the um, rules of the road and uh, all these things and uh, lights and shapes and uh, all the things regarding and um, for the navigational side i suggest you to refresh your mind yes sir. about the compass error uh -huh. also you know the um, radar movements and this one because it's uh, what is the difference between the relative motion and the true motion and all these things yeah yeah yes sir from my side now you accept it and just wait from your agency Hopefully that we will see you in short time close to us. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Chief.